posts Delaware. Now, scouting has really changed during the last couple of years, and the Explorer posts have experienced more change than most of the other scouting organizations. Now, here to tell us exactly what an Explorer post is and how it's changed are Larry Bartram, the exploring executive in this region, and John Thompson, who's the Law Exploring Post Advisor. Larry, John, welcome. Thank you. Let's Thank you. get real basic, Larry. Uh, what is an Explorer post, and what ages is it intended for? Well, uh, to reverse uh, the questions in order that you asked me, the uh, exploring program covers uh, all young people between the ages of 14 and 21, that's both male and female, and has since 1971. The program really took its biggest change in 1971 when we went co-ed with the program, did away with the standardized national uniform, did away with rank and advancement, and allowed the post to organize around specific career interests of the young people as opposed to a uh, a geographic area like a Cub Pack or a Boy Scout troop. Mm -hmm. And so what um, your goal is what then? Well, what we'd like to do is to expose uh, teenagers to uh, their career choices at a time when they can make the right kinds of decisions. Obviously, the worst thing that we can have happen is somebody that uh, decides that they want to pursue a particular career and go all the way through college or intensive training and get in the job and then find out they just hate it. Mm -hmm. So if we can expose them to the career in high school and they can find out what it's really like as opposed to what it's like on television, uh, then they can uh, make more intelligent decisions. Mm -hmm. Now, how many different career posts are you currently involved with? We have about 19 in the uh, Delaware, Upper Maryland, Eastern Shore area. Mm -hmm. For instance? Well, law, law enforcement, firefighting, journalism, chemistry, engineering, uh, computer science, to name a few. Hmm. What do you have in the works? We have about 20 more in the works uh, in all different ranges from truck driving to uh, nursing to more computer science to uh, another law post down in Dover. We have a lot in the works right now. Um, uh, Larry here tried to corner me before the show to start a uh, TV uh, production uh, post. And I'll we still will. Well, okay, we'll have to talk about it after the show. Now, let, let me turn to your compatriots here. Um, uh, John, and we've uh, known each other for quite a few years now and uh, as attorneys, and I understand you're involved as a uh, the post advisor for the Law Explorers Group. Why don't you tell the viewers what that's all about? Well, <coughs> the Law Exploring Post is that element or arm of the exploring program that involves itself with teaching high school students about the field of law. Uh, we try and teach the kids uh, what's something a little bit about the substantive aspects of the law, uh, but more importantly, we, we focus on what it's like to practice law as best we can. Uh, we tell all the kids uh, what are the entrance requirements into the profession, such as what education, what education is required, such as college. Tell them about the admission procedures in the, into law school, which are somewhat rigorous. There's probably um, 10 applicants for every seat in law school. Mm -hmm. uh, we try and give them a few pointers what to look for there. And we then focus, <coughs> excuse me, we then focus on uh, the different areas of law in which they can practice. Uh, for instance, last night at our meeting, <coughs> we had uh, three individuals from Delaware Law School. The director of admissions, uh, Agnes McLean, uh, was there to talk about Delaware Law School and, and the admission procedures into law schools in general. Plus, we had two students come out and speak to the, our, uh, my group about the, uh, what it's like to be a law student. Hmm. How often does your group meet? Our group meets uh, twice a month. Mm -hmm. uh, about two and a half hours mm -hmm. each meeting. Larry, is that typical for most posts? Most posts meet twice a month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, what are the costs involved, Larry? Well, uh, for sponsoring an export post, they're very low. We ask it that we have a committee of five adults that essentially run the program for the sponsoring organization, and they each pay a $5 a year annual fee that registers them with the Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. And then each of the young people involved pays a $3.50 registration That's fee. That's a bargain. Sure is. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they get for that's a magazine and liability insurance coverage is really what most of the mm -hmm. fee goes for. That's very useful in terms of, uh, for instance, a law enforcement post where we want the kids to ride along in a police car on patrol. The chief of police certainly wouldn't allow us to do that unless we had some liability coverage for them. John, what a, as a post advisor, are you paid? No, no. Mm -hmm. All the post advisors are volunteers. Mm -hmm. are, are you looking for more ad advisors and more volunteers? Absolutely. Boy mm -hmm. Scouts can always use more volunteers. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you see uh, as uh, the future for um, the uh, explorers? Well, I see nothing but growth in the program because I think that we, uh, <coughs> we got into the career education business a long time before it became the buzzword that it is today, mm -hmm. so we had a head start on everybody. 
I see us getting more involved with uh, working with large corporations involving ourselves with scholarship programs. We've done that to some degree already, mm -hmm. and making even more opportunities possible for the kids based on what they what they find out about the careers that they really do like. Mm -hmm. uh, John, uh, what uh, do you endeavors do you anticipate uh, your um, your members doing in the future? Well. <coughs> Uh, the field of law, is, as you well know, is, is very complex, and what we try and do is give them uh, an introduction to, to some of the aspects. Uh, later on this year, we'll be involving ourselves in a uh, mock trial uh, program, and we'll be doing some warm-up exercises for that, you know, mm -hmm. different aspects of the trial. But we look forward to holding a mock trial with the cooperation we've been, uh, of the courts. We've had the excellent cooperation from the Superior Court, we use their facilities. Right, we meet in, in the Superior Court courtrooms, and we expect to get some co additional cooperation in handing, and holding mock trials mm -hmm. there. Of course, uh, your particular post is sponsored by the Delaware Bar Association. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. the Delaware State Bar Association sponsors our post, uh, provides uh, the funding, although it's not very expensive. It's mm -hmm. quite, quite minimal. Now, how did you get involved, John? Um, well, I was a Boy Scout, an Eagle Scout, and uh, when I came back from law school, came back to Delaware, I felt that that because I had profited from the experience, I felt I could, should, you know, give something back into the system. Uh, and I contacted the um, uh, Delmarva Council of the Boy Scouts, and um, they felt that I could best best help them with the organizing a law exploring post. Mm -hmm. Now, Larry, for viewers who would like to get interested, what would you suggest they do? I suggest they call me at the scout office located on 8th and Washington in uh, Wilmington. What's that number? 652-3741. Again, give that number one. 652-3741. Larry, thanks for coming on. John, you too. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you viewers all uh, take an opportunity. If you have a relative or a friend you think might profit from the Explorers program, then why don't you give Larry